My name is Hardin Tibbs, and uh, I'm a professional futurist, which means that I help organizations, businesses, government agencies think about the future. And the idea behind this is that we're looking at complex emerging issues in the business environment and considering what insights we can gain about those and then applying those insights to new strategic concepts. Uh, so ultimately, this, this exercise is to improve strategic advantage for the client organizations. I also teach uh, here at the Judge Business School in Cambridge in England, and uh, I'm part of the group of faculty here that teach the students who come from the Moscow Business School every year uh, as part of their program there to do a week-long program here uh, where they're taught by the, the Cambridge faculty. So I do a two-day module as part of this, which is uh, the Futures Thinking uh, module. And uh, what we're doing is uh, uh, working in the room with both theoretical material and a practical exercise which runs for the, the whole, throughout the, the two-day uh, period. So uh, the, the framework that I use is the idea of a, the, 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 the strategic actor, the self, which can be an individual or it can be the business in question. Uh, the idea of a chessboard in front of them in the, as they look into the future. Uh, the strategic environment that they have to navigate, and then in the distance beyond the chessboard, a mountain. And the mountain represents the goal of the organization that it's trying to reach. And in the sky above the mountain, there's a star. So the star is the, uh, the guiding element that relates to the, uh, if you like, the core competence, or if it's an individual, uh, you might say their talent. Uh, and so that guides the future direction that they're taking. So the course moves through these four uh, elements with an exercise uh, that is done by the, by the uh, participants. So uh, each of the, the, uh, all the participants are sitting at a table uh, with about uh, six or seven people at each table, around the table, in a large room where we do the teaching. And uh, they, uh, each team chooses a, a client organization that they're going to work with, and this is chosen from one of the uh, participants around the table they choose this client organization and they then proceed to develop uh, a set of future scenarios for their chosen organization. So they're, they're working with a, a real organization, with somebody who works in the organization and can give them information about it. They can then practice the interviewing approach with the, uh, uh, the client, as we will then call that group member. Uh, and uh, then the, the rest of the team bring in the information that they may have, as it were, from outside the, the client industry and uh, proceed to develop a, a set of scenarios. And then from there to look at the options, the strategic options for the, uh, the client. And from that to consider what the best strategy might be. So this whole process uh, gives a, uh, an in-depth sense of the, the, way, the way the work is done, uh, the steps in the work. And there's a lot, of course, a lot of interaction with the students as they're uh, working through the exercise because all sorts of issues come up things that haven't quite been understood, uh, unusual kinds of situations which require a, a more detailed response. So there's a lot of uh, discussion and communication, uh, a lot of sharing of ideas. Uh, all the students work together in the same large room, uh, putting their work up on flip charts because the advantage of that is that they can see, the groups can see each other's work, they can see the pace at which the other groups are developing, and they can also get a sense of the way the other groups are, are actually uh, putting the information up on, on, the, on the flip charts, the way that they're approaching the problem. And all this increases the sharing and the learning in the room. So each of the small groups is, is working on a different problem, but they're working at, at the same pace on the same stage of the process at, at each point. So at any, at any stage, questions that arise can be shared around the room. Uh, individual points that come up in certain groups can then be shared also uh, and the kind of conversation both from plenary and at the group level uh, maximizes the amount of learning for all the participants. So uh, this project, uh, this, this program, uh, part of the program is aimed at providing the participants with the tools required for leadership. So in this sense leadership is, is distinct from management. Management is the uh, optimizing of the running of the day-to-day -day operations of a business, but leadership is the way that a new direction uh, is found for the business and the ability to find that new direction and the skills required to do that 
are really encapsulated in this idea of futures thinking. It's thinking about the future of the business, the potentials that exist, the possible pitfalls and what to do about them, and from that coming up with a new direction for the business. And uh, in, uh, that, that then becomes the, the uh, uh, new idea, the new concept that the leadership of the business can use to take it forward. So that, I hope, gives you a summary of the, uh, of the part of the program that I run. Thank you.